Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Red New, your favorite Dig Toys Pal World VTuber. We are going to be talking about the new update for Pal World version 0.2.0.6. <laughs> I am shocked. I'm excited because it's been a while since we got new Pal World content. And honestly, honestly, I was a little worried. I was really worried because I was just like, when are they going to drop the new stuff? When when are they going to drop the new update? And even if they do drop an update, like, what would it have? It's just going to have the raid boss? Is that going to be enough? But, uh... <laughs> just look at all these notes. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, like, I am blown away by the amount of stuff in here. Do not mind my reply. <laughs> I'm a blown away by just the amount of stuff written here and um i thought why don't we just take a look at the update together we're gonna do a stream going through all the changes including doing the raid boss i'm planning on doing the raid boss uh tomorrow morning at 9 a.m pacific we're gonna try and find out everything that's new just like we did last time so let's uh let's get into the notes so first of all rip our xbox buds they're gonna be lagging behind a little bit unfortunately it's gonna come. It's gonna come eventually, okay? New content. Implemented the first raid boss. That's gonna be Bella Noir. You can summon raid boss pals by using slabs at the new summoning altar. That means to summon to fight them. If you remember from the trailer, the player offered what looked like pal souls to some sort of altar, and that created the raid boss Bella Noir. That's probably what it means. Raid boss pals summoned by slabs are very powerful and cannot be captured. Work alongside your base pals to take on those foes. Wow. Wait, okay. You cannot capture them. Huh. You can't capture them. That's crazy. That's a crazy decision. I... Dang, dude. I was hoping to get a big goth wife. I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, wait, wait, but It says, pal eggs can drop after defeating raid boss pals. Okay, <laughs> so is that gonna be Belle Noir? I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe we'll figure it out. Uh, work alongside your base pals to take on these powerful foes. Yo, okay, so that's what we speculated. What I said first in the video where we go over the Belle Noir update video, I was like, yo, there are multiple pals here. Are we gonna be having to play with like other people? Is there gonna be a queue system? Are we going to be able to join together? Kind of like Helldivers 2, I guess, if you would make a comparison. But no, makes a lot of sense, makes it feel like a raid. And I think that does make it a little more fresh. I think that makes it a lot cooler than simply fighting the alphas. That's really cool. The extreme version of the raid boss is incredibly powerful and difficult to defeat. They made an extreme version? An extreme version? What are we talking about? Extreme version. Are we talking about like Final Fantasy XIV extreme raid bosses? Are we talking about that? That kind of extreme? That's going to be nuts. I, I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. It is PAL world, but like, I don't know. I'm... I mean, I'm excited. I, you know me, I love, I'm a masochist. I love, I love these kind of challenges. So, um, new training manual items have been added. These manuals allow you to give experience points to pals. That, that's interesting. I'm thinking about how this could apply to my Lily Hardcore Pal World run. When you hatch new pals from the egg, it might take some time to level up. It might be really nice to stockpile them. I wonder if you can craft these manuals. New item. Ancient technical manual has been added. This manual gives you ancient tech points and can be randomly found inside dungeon chests. Is that not what we already had? Oh, ancient tech, as opposed to regular tech points. Okay, got it, okay, cool. New recovery med items have been added. Using these meds will slowly recover your HP over time. Nice, okay, cool. We finally have potions. We've never had potions. We never had any sort of HP regeneration, no like bandages. This could be really cool for Lily Pal World Hardcore. I don't know, <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, new item, Homeward Thundercloud has been added. Homeward Thundercloud? What, like the flying Nimbus? When used, this item will instantly move you to your nearest base. Yo, what the hell? That is pretty cool. Like an escape rope. New item, ability glasses has been added. When equipped, you can see pal stats. 
Oh, okay, cool. That's, um, so, yeah. The PAL Analyzer, that is, like, one of the most popular mods for PAL World. And it lets you see, like, all the stats and, like, how many you've caught as well. New stat boosting items has been added. Power Fruit, Life Fruit, Stout Fruit. These items will boost PAL stats when used. Okay. Okay, that's cool. There's probably, like, a stat boosting tree then, I guess they added? I don't know. That sounds pretty cool. Maybe it's dungeon drops. Oh, please. Please incentivize us to go into dungeons more. Please, please, please. Added a new passive hit, Mercy Hit. Pals with this passive cannot reduce enemy HP below one when attacking. Oh, so like a trait? That's kind of cool. I mean, like, I wish the... I wish the player could also do that, but okay, you can't reduce them below one. New item, Ring of Mercy has been added. When wearing this ring you cannot reduce enemy hp below one when attacking okay with this kind of ring you could be a pacifist but they still have to incapacitate the pals if they don't incapacitate the pals then it's gonna be difficult new armor multi-climate undershirt has been added protect yourself against both the heat and the coal with just one slot that would be like a cool little chase item to get from a dungeon maybe New building, Electric Egg Incubator has been added. Electric Egg. Okay, cool. So, more facilities that use electricity. This incubator consumes electricity to automatically adjust the temperature to the optimum temperature for each egg. Hell yes! That seems cool! That's awesome! I can totally, like, picture someone new to Power World coming in and they're like, Ah, oh, I really need that Electric Egg Incubator. Just, I don't know. That sounds like a great building for people to, like want to have in their base you know what i mean new building or mining site has been added this mining site allows you to produce ores from the comfort of your base <laughs> i see why they did it but i'm not sure if i agree with the decision as much uh let me know what you guys think in the comments i guess if this is a thing then dig toys will no longer be the best miner it's just whoever has the biggest work speed with the most mining work level efficiency. So like Astagon or Blossomut, those would be the best miners. Anyway, uh, pals. Kelpsy can now produce pal fluids at the ranch. Holy, thank you. Is this material right here? And it's used for cement. Cement is used for a lot of stuff. Demut can now produce high quality pal oil at the ranch. It does match him. It does seem like, like Demud looks like an oily dude. You can now reduce the weight of metal ore while riding Surf and Terra. I guess they're adding an ability for him. Uh, increase the amount of ore dropped while riding Astagon. Mm, okay. All right, so Astagon, best manual farming a pal still. You can now raise pal's rank to the maximum with a single synthesis using the pal essence condenser. Now it makes a lot of sense. If you have a max rank pal, just feed it to any pal and they will become max rank. I'm thinking that's what it's saying and I love that change. That's awesome. Negative pal status will now be resolved after spending some time in the pal box. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming that they mean like depressed, hungry, bored, broken leg, right? I guess all of these will now heal. Um, UI. UI, while aiming a sphere, it will now display how many of the target pal has already been captured. Oh, that's good. They know what the players want, and this makes things a lot easier. You can now check the cooldowns on partner skills for all your pals on the main screen. I don't know what that means. Um, maybe on the pal screen in the menu? Equipment and item stats are now visible on the technology screen, even if you have not unlocked them first. Oh, yeah, okay. That's That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it was a little annoying not being able to see, like, how much better a pickaxe is or how much better your musket is to a crossbow without having to, like, craft them first. It would be nicer if you could see what you're researching. The tutorial has been improved and renamed to Journey. Okay. You can now show and hide the journey in the game options. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Damage number display size can be changed in the game options. Okay. In raid boss battles, the damage numbers tend to overlap a lot, and it may be difficult to see, so we recommend adjusting the size. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, all right, I gotcha. Player. 
Items dropped by players after death on a dedicated server can now be picked up by anyone after 24 hours of real time have passed. I don't know, I don't play multiplayer, so uh, let me know what you guys think this is in the comments. Added a new sleeping player emote edited. Base related. You can now allow, disallow certain work for base pals at the monitoring stand. That's good. This is so good for managing your bases. I mean, it, and it makes sense too. I mean, they are your pals, right? They're basically your workers. They're gonna do the jobs you tell them to do. So it makes a lot of sense. I, I'm happy for that. Chest filters have been added. Select item types to allow or disallow inside chests. Oh, oh, what? What? That's awesome. Crafted items are now transported from crafting facilities. Selecting allow transport when crafting will result in pals transporting those items to chests when finished. Yes, yes, these are great changes. Like when you have like a stack of cement, right? In your, uh, in your conveyor belt and it's like, okay, I just told them to finish cement. It's heavy as hell though. So I'm gonna pick it up and now I have to pick up, drop, pick up, drop, pick up, drop until I'm at my container in order to put it in the container. I have to do that. That sounds so dumb. And now I love these changes. These are probably my, my favorite changes. Just making your base work better. You can now edit your character's appearance at any time by using the antique dresser. Oh, cool. Building and building piece placement rules have been relaxed. Okay, and they elaborate further. You can now connect stairs facing upwards. I know that from a floor, you can't build a stair. You need like a wall to build off of. Is that what they mean? I don't know. Roof pieces can now directly connect to foundations. That's good because like you could already do that, but you need a wall. Triangular walls can now be connected to stairs. Okay, cool. You can now force a pal to work and cancel their break by picking them up and throwing them towards a facility. Pals recover their sanity while taking a break, so be careful. Forced labor? That's awesome. Being able to force your pals to work? Great. That's the name of the game, right? We want to see that. <laughs> fixed assignments remain fixed, even after bad events occur. Previously, some assignments would change due to certain conditions, but now they will remain fixed unless the pal is placed inside the pal box. Nice. Okay. Balance adjustment. Minimum heat and cold resistance have been added to various armor. You will no longer need to take off your heat resistance armor when it is cold at night in the starting areas. Very nice. Uh, reduce the button press time in the egg incubator. It is a little annoying and I guess that's what they have seen from the modders. Unfortunately, it means that we can't play our Pokemon egg hatching song, I guess. Change the pattern for Jormantide Ignis to something more unique. Okay, so I guess he got a visual update. I'm excited to see that. Added legendary blueprints for some firearms. So I think they added a legendary version of makeshift handgun and musket. These are the only two guns that didn't have a legendary blueprint as far as I'm aware. So cool. Awesome. Corrected the selling price of diamonds. I'm not even sure. Let me know. Let me know what the selling price of diamonds was before this. I don't think anyone was farming that. In single player, it is no longer possible to select the initial spawn point for multiplayer. What? What? I don't. I don't understand that. For why? What's for multiplayer? If it's in single player, what's for multiplayer? Am I not able to select the initial spawn point if I click respawn in the beginning? That's gonna suck for the Lily Pal World hardcore runs if we ever bring that back. Dang. Block the back of the starting area with rocks to prevent players from getting lost or stuck. Okay. I mean, sure. Whatever. <laughs> The increased attack power multiplier partner skills that increase the player's attack power while riding has been uniformly reduced from 2.0 to 1.2. Oh no, oh no, they nerfed, no, that's a nerf, no. <laughs> I mean, I think it makes sense. I think what they're talking about uh, is like when you ride pals like Ragnarok. Ragnarok, I believe, is one of the ones who gave you a 2.0 boost. And I don't think that was intended. I think Frostallion, strangely enough, had a more reduced effect. Eggs now have a small chance to produce alpha pals. <laughs> what? 
What? Okay, that's cool. Lily Hardcore, no catch, only hatch. We get an alpha pal? That is hype, dude. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. I hope it I hope it applies to wild eggs. I hope it applies to wild eggs. Please, please apply to wild eggs. Please, not just breeding. Flying and floating pals are now immune to falling damage. I guess from base? That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, why would they fall if they're floating, right? Makes sense. Shop price adjustments. No! Oh no, the Lily Hardcore Pal World Run! No! Wait, I wonder if they're cheaper or if they're more expensive. Oh no. Dude, okay, so basically for our Lily Hardcore Pal World Runs, what we would do is go straight for the shop that sells the makeshift handgun and the musket because those are not the musket uh fire arrow crossbow those are really powerful items inflicting burning makeshift handgun is good source of damage very good rate of fire and you don't have to wait to craft them so i'm wondering did they make it more expensive that's gonna be a little annoying but i don't know <laughs> okay bug fixes Okay, cool. We are planning a larger, more content-packed update for summer 2024. Enjoy never-before-seen scenery and thrilling adventures on a new island, home to many new pals. In addition, we plan to add a large amount of new content, including new buildings, weapons... Dude, what? What? <laughs> you know what? Call me... Call me a believer. I am... I am a believer. I... I believe. Yes. I thought we would only get a raid boss. <laughs> I thought we would only get a raid boss. We got new PAL functionality. We have a fully fleshed out like base building now, base management. It works now. Thank Thank you Pocket Bear. Thank you Pocket Bear. Um we have new items. We have a lot of quality of life changes and uh, just new content, new things. I'm so excited. Hell yeah, this is just what I've been waiting for. I mean like I, I've been worried. I've been like, oh god, there's not there's not a lot of things I want to make for Power World now, but now like we have now we have all this. We're gonna be checking out all those changes on my live stream that's gonna be here on YouTube tomorrow at 9 a.m. PT Pacific Time. 9 a.m. Pacific Time. We are doing a stream where we are checking out all the new stuff and uh who knows, maybe uh Maybe we'll do a little more. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for me. My name is Renu. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.